What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another pack review. I mean, they're really, really going to town with the packs, lads. Genuinely, there's so many packs out in the last few weeks. I've been struggling to keep up with all the videos, but we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll have the rest of them out today. We'll have the Japanese pack out. We'll have the Uruguayan pack out. And we'll also have the nominating contracts and the other Japanese players as well. So today we are taking a look at Germany. They released today with England 900 coins. Yeah, this, I'm a bit torn on this pack, lads. I'm a bit torn on this pack. I think pound for pound, it's still very good. But yeah, there's a lot of players missing from this. There's a lot of players missing that, that should be in it, you know? Like Muller isn't there. Goretzka isn't there. There's a couple of other players that I would have liked to have seen there. And then you've also got players that are not even on, you know, they're not even on the World Cup squad that are here as well. So it's an interesting pack. It's definitely, yeah, I mean, for 900 coins, you're still getting a lot of bang for your buck. But... <sighs> It just depends on how you want to, how you, you know, what team you want to use because you're getting an absolutely insane player in Kimmich. Rudiger and Neuer are probably end game level players. Um, they're really good cards. You know, they are really good cards. I just feel like that they kind of missed the beat a little bit by including a couple of the players. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that because we are going to be going over to eFootballDB in a second as well um, and talking through a couple of the players that we're going to be focusing on here. But yeah, uh, first up, we have got Nico Schlotterbeck. And I have been working on my pronunciations, lads, so let me know if I butchered that one. But yeah, this guy's got a waiver in form. This, he was kind of a bit of a beast back in, uh, I think it was V2.0 when it originally came out. Now, this card isn't as good, but he was an absolutely insane card back then because he did have unwavering form. And his speed and acceleration weren't really that much of a concern. And I think that the biggest problem is, with a lot of these cards, is that you are sacrificing something to gain something else and that's kind of the way that they've balanced the game this year and i like that i like that a lot i mean it's it is easy yeah to go out and drop 100 quid and i know people that have gone out and dropped 200 quid and bought literally every single pack uh last week you know they bought the neymar pack they bought the messi pack um they bought like a load of different uh versions of different players and like, look, you know, it is what it is that way because, but at the same time, I don't ever feel or nobody should ever feel like that they can't compete against those players. You know, I can stop um, like legend edition Neymar the same way as I can stop standard edition Neymar. Sometimes somebody, you know, a player that's worth 50,000 GP gives me more of an issue than Messi or Mbappe. It just depends on the matchup. It depends on the player skill level and it depends on how they train them and it depends on everything else. There's a lot of different factors. So I think that they've actually balanced the players quite well. But this guy isn't a bad player. He's got 21 levels to go, as I said there. And when we get over here to eFootball DB, we're just going to take a quick look at him. I mean, you're not going to focus too much. I always say that just get like maybe four or five into acceleration and then get the rest into speed. And then you're just going to want to be an absolute monster with this guy. That's all you need. His aggression is a big issue. That's the big problem with this card, I find. I think that, yeah, in the air, he's going to be very good. He's going to be very solid. But you're not going to get his acceleration over 68, no matter what you really do. Like you can get it to 68. But even at that, you're going to be sacrificing a lot. You're going to be sacrificing a bit of speed. And you are going to be sacrificing the, the defensive side of the game there as well. So you can get it up to 91 defensive awareness and 89 tackling. But aggression is going to be a bit low. So I would be using this guy as an aerial kind of, you know, guy that can really just dominate the air. Like Van Dyke. Like Van Dyke isn't the best on-ball defender either compared to somebody like Alaba or Koundé that can just go in and get the ball no matter what or Maldini or somebody like that but this guy Schlotterbeck could be very very dominant in the air if you are struggling against cross spammers or you're struggling against guys that just play a lot of very very direct long balls so he is very very good for being one of the worst rated players next up we've got this guy Raum who's a very good player as well he actually featured in one of my hidden gem series uh his standard card was insane and there's a lot of reasons for that number one he's got unwavering form number two as a left back he's got pinpoint crossing he's also got a speeding bullet and long range or long ranger and early crosser as his playing style and then he's got loads of shooting player skills and load of passing player skills his dribbling isn't the best as a left back but i don't think you need to focus too much on that because when we get over here 
if we're just training this guy up to be an absolute dominant crosser of the ball and you're going to pair him with Lewandowski or pair him with Haaland or somebody like that that's good in the air or Ian Collar, my new favourite at the moment, you're just going to be focusing on what he's good at. His lofted pass is already extremely high, so you don't really need to focus too much on that. But we do need to get that low pass up to about 74, 75. So we're going to just round it up at 75 there and 90 for the uh, lofted pass. And then this is how I would train him, lads. I would get that up to about 78. Or sorry, I'd get that up to about 76. And then I would get his speed up a little bit as well. I would get his defense up a small bit. You don't need to go too much on that because you are going to have a lot of points here to pump in to get his stamina up. You do need to get his stamina up a good bit there. I would say probably for depending on how you want to play this guy. And then I would just decide whether you wanted to have him as a really like exceptional crosser. You could probably go maybe a bit, maybe two or three more into that to get the low pass and the loft to pass up. I personally think 90 is enough. And I would probably either pump it into aerial strength to get that physical contact up so that you can kind of limit a lot of those 50-50s and you'll be able to compete with faster players when you're shoulder to shoulder. Or else I would probably put a one or two more into defending, depending on how you want to train him up. That is completely up to you guys. I would potentially put him... Put, put it in there genuinely i would put it into aerial strength i know a lot of people kind of sleep on aerial strength but yeah this guy is is a bit of a monster as well so he's probably he's one of the better picks of the of the game here in this pack now we've also got mecha here as well who's a new card uh he wasn't he hasn't really been focused on too much so if i was getting this guy I definitely would be looking at maybe his ability uh, to actually just like turn and run with the ball. And like a lot of the players in this that you're going to see, right, there are very good alternatives to it. I say every video there's there's better alternatives probably there on the GP market. But what you're getting here is obviously a special edition card. And obviously, they you know, they are kind of promoting it very heavily. So I can understand people wanting to get the best cards. But the biggest thing with these cards, lads, the biggest thing, if you are thinking about getting these the biggest thing is the team play style proficiency. So you can get this guy and he's just able to play in any team, any formation with any manager. It doesn't make a difference. And that's huge because it means that you've got extra points to boost up to his actual abilities. And that makes a massive difference for what would ordinarily be average cards. So if in the likes of Mecha here, this guy, like you're going to have very, very average stats across the board. You look at it there, 72 finishing, 77 speed, 75 acceleration, 68 dribbling, right? But we've got 48 progression points to go. So straight away, because we don't need to focus on anything with our team play style, which is the case with all these players, we can boost this up, get our dribbling up. Now, this guy isn't going to be a Romario 2.0, as we need to be realistic with some of these players, but we can get him fairly, fairly good. Um, and we can get his speed up quite high as well. Now, the big thing I like about this player, lads, is his super sub. He does have super sub here as well. So if you are looking for a different super sub, this guy's goal poacher and super sub, and he's got a lot of nice player skills and player AI as well. Um, he doesn't have unwavering form, but he's still an 89 overall center forward, which isn't too bad in this pack here as well. So they're probably the three players, four players that, like, I, I'm not really... Yeah, they're not going to really change the dial too much for you. The rest of the pack, like we've also uh, got Werner here, who's incredibly pacey. One of the fastest players in the game. Definitely one of the fastest players in this pack or any pack that they've released. Like he's got incredible stats, lads. Now his form is inconsistent. That is a pity. That is a pity for the card. Obviously, it's probably realistic, but it is a pity for the card. But he's got first time shot and track back, which makes it really worthwhile to get this guy in. I would have probably liked to see Super Sub as well with this pack because he's probably, I don't think he's, I don't even think like that he's, um, I don't even think that he's a bad player in the game. But yeah, I would have definitely liked to see this car be a little bit more unique and to go a bit crazy with it. Obviously, his finishing, when we go over here, his finishing isn't going to be that great, lads. We, we know that, you know what I mean? Anyone that's watched him knows his finishing isn't going to be that great. But we don't need to pump too, ma too much into dribbling either. So we can just focus those points on having a really, really nice and fast center forward and then pop up the rest of them. And when you do that you're going to get a, a fairly beastly finisher, lads. 84 finishing, 90 speed, 94 acceleration. That's not too bad. That is not too bad at all. And we can also pu pump up this if we wanted to get a little bit more balance there as well. Um, and we can still have one on dribbling if we wanted that as well. So yeah, he's got, uh, he's got a really good card. I would probably say 82 would be enough finishing for him just with the card that he has. And I'd pump two more in to dexterity to get that balance and offensive awareness up. 92 overall yeah it's a bit it's a bit mad having this card in but still i do think he is a good player in this pack now the rest of the pack lads that we're going to see we have Kimmich, gundawang 
um, Rudiger, Hoffman, and Sewell. They're no Neuer again. Like as I said, Neuer is one of the best keepers in the game, lads. I don't ever get too too excited about goalkeepers, really. You know, you know what you're getting with Neuer. He's going to be a beast, but he's going to come out with the pitch a lot. So that's something to keep in mind if you are a very attack based player. Hoffman, a very good attacking midfielder. He's got unwavering form. He's got a bag of player skills that he that that are really vital there. First time shot and one touch pass through passing is extremely good. Double touch extremely good. Can play right wing or right mid. Good crosser as well. He's got early crosser. And he also has soul control and long range curler, which is fairly decent with those curling shots. If you are playing him as an, as an AMF. But yeah, he's not going to be really in the end game squad or a really good squad for you. Rudiger, we've featured Rudiger so many times. Absolute monster. He doesn't have blocker on this card, which would have been nice. Unwavering form is good though. And he is one of the best center backs in the game. The only problem with Rudiger lads is his form. He hasn't been up in a long time. Um, because, you know, hopefully that will change with the World Cup. But yeah, you were, you were getting a, a really good center back here. I would have liked to have seen Goretzka. Goretzka would have been my pick here. You've got no Muller either. You've got a couple of players missing that are actually in the World Cup, which is, you know, a bit of a pity, like Adeyemi and uh, Mukoko. I would have liked to have seen those guys. They would have been new additions, especially Mukoko, um, which would have been good. Gundogan, you're getting a very decent uh, center midfielder, kind of attacking midfielder, but he doesn't have unwavering form. He's on D rating. And on top of that, his speed is quite slow. So you would need to just play him as more of a, kind of a like in the hole player and there's so many better players like that i think it would be a waste of a, a squad space really unless you're a big fan of gundawan but yeah and then other than that lads kimmich is probably uh one of the best players that we have to to look at i'm just going to take a quick look at hoffman because i know a few people will ask me about this guy because he does have kind of a couple of unique stats especially with his his uh progression points that can go up he does have some nice stats for an AMF, but I think the problem with him is that he doesn't excel in anything. You'll see there, 92 overall. He doesn't excel in everything, like or anything really. And it's the same with Rudiger here. We've got so many additions of Rudiger that like if you are pumping up this and you're pumping up this, this, and this, like you have got a fairly decent uh, center half, but he is lacking a little bit in the defensive awareness, even when you give nine points into defending. So there are better alternatives there, but he does play above his stats. And I think that nominating contract version was was better. So that is something to, to keep an eye on as well. And then we've got my man, Kimmy, who I think, and I'm still going to go to, uh, I'm going to go to war with anyone that says different. I think Kimmich is the best right back in the game, lads. I have his Bayern Munich pack, this one, uh, or this one, I'm not too sure which one I have. And he is absolutely incredible. The amount of chances he sets up, the amount of times he blocks, the intercepts, the ball. He's just unbelievable. Like, he's just so good. I love playing with him. You don't need to touch his passing or dribbling. You can pump two into dribbling if you want to touch it. You don't even need to do that, in my opinion. You don't need it. All you need to focus, in, focus on is his defense and then, obviously, his speed. That's the two big things you need to focus on if you are playing him as a DMF or a... A CMF. It doesn't really, or a, a right back. Sorry, lads. It doesn't really matter because you've got everything that you could possibly want. 90 aggression, 92 defensive engagement. He's got the low pass and the dribbling stats to match any right back, really. And then his speed, acceleration, and stamina is unbelievable. Now, if you are playing him as a DMF, you don't need that pace. You can just keep that at 75. You don't even need to boost up his speed, only one. And then you can focus on his passing, which you can turn him into a 94 overall passer, or you could leave that at 92. And you could put two more in to have him as a deep line kind of Makalele type player. So yeah, Kimmich is definitely the pick of it. He's definitely one of my favorite players in the game. So yeah, lads, that is it. A bit of a disappointing pack. I still think you're getting massive bang for your buck if you don't have a lot of these players. Like I would say Rudiger, uh, Gundogan, Kimmich, Havertz. We haven't looked at Havertz yet, but uh, Werner is definitely worth it as well. Havertz, I think the fact that he's got standard form and he doesn't have super sub as well, I would have liked to have seen that. But one touch pass is very nice. First time shot, long range shooting, long range curl. The thing I like about Havertz is that he can play in different positions. And I like players like that. But if you have been playing this game for a while now, I don't think that he's going to get in your squad that much. You know, he doesn't have the pace or the speed to be a winger and he doesn't have the passing and the dribbling to be an AMF above other players that are here. Even Hoffman is, a, is probably a better option. But yeah, lads, that is it for me. I will be back quite soon doing a load of more reviews and we'll be back playing some games later as well. Until next time, lads, let me know if you're going to get this pack or not. I will talk to you later. Peace.